adventures in Filbar. For all your role-playing needs, try the free stuff first. Hello and welcome to our stream. Don't forget to follow us on the socials at mhobo inc or you can email us mhobo inc at gmail.com. If you are interested in playing on the stream get a hold of us. You can also purchase interesting RPG items at our store and the link is below. We have everything from shirts to skateboards in our shop. Go, take a look. And if you need new math rocks. Catch a pirate dog dice on Twitter for some personalized items. If your game stinks, unlike ours, try some adventure scents by ofishgames.com. They have over 60 different scents and most are pleasant. This aid is perfect for in-person games, especially conventions. Of fish games also mix how to RPG with your cat, how to cook with your dice. The shine system if you want to be a gooder writer than me. Or try the Radiance Project if you just want to play with yourself. Allfishgames.com is your stop for game aids. Live, I think. Folks, new uh, new audio equipment. Hopefully you can hear me. If not, my wife will tell me that uh, I, I, I'm deaf. Hey, Frank. Yes? The other day... I was having tea with my friend Sophie, and we, as we were having tea, there was a knock at the front door. There was a uh, delivery boy there with three dozen red roses. I took him in. I said, hey, Soph, what's that? What, what is this? I looked at the card. It says, from your boyfriend, Ernie. I said to Soph, I'm like, oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to be flat on my back with my legs wide open for the next two weeks. She says, why? What's the matter? Don't you got no vows? Heard it. Saw it coming, but that's okay. Uh, good one. Boys and girls, Saturday night. And with this group, you know it's a one-shot. Welcome aboard. Uh, tonight they're in the uh, north, not quite frozen north, uh, but the forest in north. Uh, they have heard rumor that there's a relic out there. Uh, and unfortunately, I do not have my Adventure Sense uh, forest uh, scent. <laughs> uh which would really make this better. Uh, but we'll see. Hopefully my audio is working. Uh, it is. Cool. Let's introduce you to everybody play, and we will start with Shithead, euphemistically known as Blake. I'm playing Horus, the Grave player. You know, it would have only been better if you were a tortoise. <laughs> I do not appreciate your comment. Blake's going to have some problematic audio as I'm in control tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just mute that shit. Um... No. <laughs> Get it out. Uh, John, how about you? Hey, folks. My name is John. I am playing Gareth, who is a half-elf bounty hunter. Wacky, wacky with the swords and shields. And basically, he knows how to fight. And that's about it. Wow. Um, a man of many talents. The uh, way Horus is it war? The finger's on the mute button, man. <laughs> Ashton, what about you? Who are you playing tonight? Uh, I'm playing, uh, what, Asher Blackmeal. He is a draconic uh, ranger. A lot of heavy hitters today. And draconic. Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Last but certainly, certainly not least, Carrie. I will Thanks. be playing Madame I Malcolm, appreciate it. who is an Oathbreaker Paladin. Oathbreaker, mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> Woof. It was Quite. the roll of the dice. Quite the collection tonight, boys and girls. Uh, should be a 
Hoot nanny. Uh, like I said in the intro, uh, you guys have traveled a week. Nothing has happened, which is a huge plus. Uh, everybody roll a d20 if you match. Uh, I'll let you talk to a merchant who might have information. Matt one. 18. 13. Five. Uh, no specific answers. Uh, as you approach the wooden stockade, you notice that a river runs through it. Uh, it's a uh -huh. moderately sized city. Uh, and I'll go ahead and toss it up here, uh, hoping that uh, the grave cleric doesn't do what his last one-shot character did all night long. Well, you know oh, what? Yeah. I, I don't have it. <laughs> is it the Bright River? Uh, yes, it is the Bright River. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to use Venko because uh, it's close enough. So, share screen. Venko. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, I thought I copied over all of the files and I did not. So... Crapola. Uh, there you go, boys and girls. Uh, this is the equivalent city. You are coming in from the down south region here. I recognize this city. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> My lazy writing is getting worse and worse as the days go on. I'm uh, going go, to go deposit all of the dead children I have at the temple. Nice. <laughs> Were you catching them like cordwood? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Okay, you guys are in town. The guards, uh, you, guys, you guys recognize these dudes. These guys are soldiers and or former adventurers. Uh, and they give you a look. It's not one of derision. It's not one of hatred. It's just one of, eh, I know what you do. Uh, and we'll probably see each other later. Uh, but as you walk in, uh, this is a frontier town. Uh, think Deadwood. It's got soil, I will say, uh, streets in it. Uh, there's a small dock area not too far away. Uh, the one side is lower than the other, and this sucks because I had a really cool city that I found. Uh, but uh, it's a smaller city, maybe three, 4,000 people. Uh, and as you look around, you see a patchwork of people moving about. Uh, you will know that this place is famous as A, uh, final stop before you hit the frontier, and B, a lot of furriers and trappers are here who have gone into the north. Uh, as you look around, you know that you need to find Lady Serafina. Uh, if you want, you can pick out somebody and ask, uh, and you can say adventurer, guard, or commoner. It doesn't matter to me. Looking for the sofa, Sophina or whatever. Uh, who are you asking? We're looking. We're we're looking for this. What's her, what was her name? Sophina or something? Seraphina. We're just asking everybody. Yeah, he's just shouting it out. That's cool. Uh, you know, no, I'm, he, I'm, I'm, I'm asking the, the group here. I'm still that oh, new. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, I got so you. Gotta locate her, right? Yes, you want to find Lady Seraphina. Okay. Lady Serafina, has anyone seen her? <laughs> Forrest Gump. Lady Serafina. An elven, has any? An elven monk approaches you. Uh, Hold on. I've been traumatized by battle magic, so I have PTSD. <laughs> As he comes up, put my hands up. I give him the eye. <laughs> Intimidation roll. <laughs> God, I hate one shot nights. <laughs> uh, I'd make that a persuasion. Persuasion, I got well, 15. He just throws it up like that. 15? No, I, I have PTSD. Prove it to me. Uh, <laughs> uh, he is initially taken aback, but uh, points out to Gareth. Uh, if thou seekst Lady Serafina, she resides in the tower down by the river. It's the van tower. Just don't come any closer. Does she, does she live in a van down by the river? Yeah, the van tower. <laughs> That's where she lives. It's down by the river. <laughs> and 
the elven monk kindly wanders away. Everybody give me a Thank you, sir. Everybody give me a perception check. Nine. So it's 15. This plus my plus, plus that, yes. 19. Ooh. Six. Asher, you are the only one to notice that uh, half-elfin armor seems to be trailing you on the other side of the river. Uh, while he has not been noticed by your three comrades, you have noticed that uh, he seems to be walking uh, consistently at the same speed you guys are, just on the other side, and every once in a while catches peripheral vision uh, to keep an eye on you guys. You may point it out to the group or just lock it away, noting it for later use. Um, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll just, uh, whoever's closest to me, just kind of make a, you know, like a nudge. One to two, Madam. Three to four, Gareth. Five to six, Horus. Three, Gareth is closest, closest to you. Had a Cindy Brady moment there. Well, what, what is it? What is it, Asher? I I see this. What was it? An elven? Half elven dude in armor. Half el the half elven in armor. I'll see if I can notice him now. Yeah, he's talking to a lady. And oh, she, yeah. she's kind of pointing different directions. Okay. I will see if I can kind of keep an eye on him as we continue to find this van on the river. Sure. Uh, you see the, <laughs> the single tower down off the edge of the river. Uh, and a, there's a great big V. Instead, in lieu of a window, it's a great big V. So van tower. Well, at least it wasn't the damn tower, I guess. It's true. As you guys come close, you notice uh, another group of adventure <laughs> adventurer types are exiting. <clears throat> I, I go up to him and go, "Hey, hey, what what are y'all doing in there?" <laughs> Nothing. You're not taking the job, are you? Because y'all 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 don't look like you could do it. Uh, let's see, you have an elven wizard. A gnome sorcerer. A dwarven druid, wow. <laughs> and a halfling wizard, oh. Two wizards, a sorcerer, and a druid. Those fuckers are dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're like, oh, we don't know what you're talking about. We're just here seeing the sights of uh, uh, Victory Tower here. Okay. And they wander off, kind of bunched up, uh, like they're teenage girls talking about something. Can I... Get an eavesdropping check? Yeah, I'll, I'll say they're close enough. Go ahead. Okay. What, what do I roll? Uh, I'll go perception at disadvantage. Okay. Oh, good. Now there's two of you. That's not going to screw anything up. <laughs> I'm going to close this back out. Um, uh, that was a an 11 with disadvantage. Uh, yeah, you hear them mumbling, but you can't really tell what they're saying, and they're hurriedly moving off in a direction. Horus wants to follow them? Question mark? Uh, Gareth, Madam, and Asher, what are you going to do? I'm going to go in the tower. Asher? I would probably follow as well. And Madam? I will follow as well. However, I'll be going up the stairs backwards. I will follow him. <laughs> follow I don't him. want anyone behind me. You may go. 
I saw it's all I can think of is married with children. Uh, okay, Shithead wanders off and begins to follow the short patrol because uh, it's an elf, a gnome, a dwarf, and a halfling. Uh, we'll call it the the two guys party because <laughs> you stack the three short ones on and it's almost it say, two, yeah, yeah. Man. <laughs> two guys party. Uh, as you guys enter, you are greeted by Lurch, the uh, Lurch. butler, uh, and he asks you to state your business. Uh, Gareth and Asher, you are looking at him because uh, Madam Malum is suffering from PTSD and walking up the stairs backwards. Give me a uh, athletics check there, Malum. <laughs> Uh, 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 15. Okay, yeah. She's walking up. So Asher, Gareth, uh, Lurch wants to know, uh, state your business. We're here about the relic for Lady Seraphina, and I heard she needs pop shelf adventurers. Great. The Kentucky can contingent is arrived. Uh, I say, I say, boy, I say... <laughs> He, uh, he starts to take down your names and gives you the thumb to go through a door behind him. That's my kind of you. Um, Horace, a dwarven paladin, approaches you, uh, but he's got like an ankh instead of a cross on there, so he's not going to be a Templar. He's going to be something else. He uh, he asks if he can bother you with a question. I don't what? know. Can you? What is it? Uh, he announces that he is yeah. short round and is looking for his companion, Indy. My brother. <laughs> he immediately knows the or notices the stuttering and slow tone. And shakes his head and moves on to continue his search <laughs> for Indiana. Inside the tower, Asher, Gareth, and Malum, uh, you see a lady behind a large ornate desk. She's dressed in your standard, typical wizard like robes. Uh, and there are four chairs in front of you. She points out I don't let him get away. <laughs> Clearly. He the fingers on the mute button. <laughs> needed something. Fair and enough. You Horace begin to slowly is chase him always down. <laughs> happy to help. You guys will never solve this. You'll just have to kill Horace. <laughs> Inside the tower, she asks, uh, I, you know, this, this job is designed for four. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are right for it. You're probably right, but we, <laughs> heard, we saw some other adventurers. <laughs> we uh, saw some other adventurers. We're probably going to hire one of them halflings. Good luck. He didn't seem very bright. Or the elf. The elf I was the wizard. Armor. <laughs> I asked her, "What is this artifact that you're looking for?" Uh, yes, the wizard. Yes, the yes. elven Asher and Madame Malum. She points out that a very dear friend of hers went to, into the forest with some uh, associates, uh, but sadly returned upon his shield. And uh, he used to wear an amulet called the Heartwood Amulet. A uh, very dear friend of mine. I really need it back. It has a great deal of sentimental value for me. What so, you the one that gave it to him? Is yes, your relation. Uh, you aren't here <laughs> to the dearly departed. Did you go back to the tower? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, there you go. So I'll he... say. Uh... Well, what is this? can you give us a clue of what it looks like? Where we might. Start looking. Yeah, she holds up a piece of paper and it's got uh, a scrawling of it. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, she says the uh, 
uh, necklace part is copper, uh, and it seems to be wound uh, like what would hold a bridge together, unless you're in uh, North Carolina. Uh, but uh, why too soon? That was Boston, by the way. Oh, that uh, was, no, it was, it was Baltimore. 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 So see, North you Carolina was perfectly not North Carolina. North Carolina. It's the same thing. It's the East Coast. <laughs> uh, sorry, Andrew, if we've offended you. You're on the East Coast. Deal with it. Uh, so it's wound, <laughs> and then it's a garnet, she points out, and it's in the shape of a heart. And then it's oh. it's wrapped in this copper. So it, does, it doesn't sound very expensive. Uh, what does it do? Well, it's a religious relic. Uh, what, what religion is it? Well, uh, too bad. I... Might uh, be able. Did you go back to the tower to identify it? If it comes to the head. this is the lady that's talking to us three. In the oh, okay. Well, then fine. Eat soap. Shit yourself. <laughs> no, you eat soap. Here we are. We're here. There you go. Uh, she's bringing you. If you want to try it, I'll give uh, 200 gold pieces to each of you if you return it uh, safe oh. and sound. That sounds fair. My friend was searching some ruins in the forest. Unfortunately, uh, they were being chased out by some kind of monster that they can't really describe, and they aren't sure where they were at when they uh, when my friend fell. So the people that bore his body back, do you trust them not to have stolen it? Oh, yeah, they they got the shit kicked out of them. Doesn't mean they wouldn't have taken it for themselves. Uh, I have ways of noting if it is on their person and it was not. They come from the north, northwest or northeast. I don't know. And neither she did put one of them. She put one of them air tracker things on it. <laughs> That's right, an Apple air tracker. Uh... Shithead and the dwarf. Uh, he's like, just get away from me. I don't want to deal with you. But you need help. No, well, I'm good. I, I, I don't need any help. You need help. <laughs> I help you. Uh, that's a that's a hard no for me, uh, Mr. Gump. <laughs> I mean, I know that you can cook shrimp. You can fry. <laughs> he, he throws himself into oh, the Lord. river to get away from you. <laughs> He's, He's now called the guard. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> I'm still listing shrimp as he's running away. Now, all you hear is a giant splash, and that is the end of him. Uh, the uh, Lady Serafina points out uh, that there are three possible axes for you guys to travel. Uh, she said you can go into the western forest uh, right over here. Uh, you can go into the uh, northern forest via... Uh, Bright Hill is what it's called here. She says uh, you might be able to get a, a good look. It's the second tallest uh, thing in the area next to Thunder Mountain to the right, which is uh, kind of blocked. Down uh, on Thunder says, Island. You can go ahead and uh, go up the river, but that's going to be uh, hard rowing for you. Uh, each hex that you travel is going to be an hour except in the woods, and then it's going to be a half hour. <laughs> Takes less time to travel in the woods. I'm sorry, reverse that. Two hours? No, nope. yeah. a half, yeah. half hour in the yeah. plains, an hour in the woods. I'm not going through the woods. There are things in the woods. Yeah, why don't we Maybe. even I don't think want about things going in the woods? Also, enjoy playing with wood. In the woods. Uh, Shithead, you notice uh, a couple of individuals wearing white coats making a beeline for you. <laughs> no. one, has, one has a large stick and the other one has a coat. <laughs> here, boy. Here, boy. <laughs> 
Or it's the brave um, cleric who's about to be uh, nurse ratcheted. <laughs> Forest casts gentle repose. Uh, what's my saving throw? No, but, you know, you, uh, oh, hang on. Uh, oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to cast. I wanted to cast Calm Emotions. Uh, and my, that's going to be a Charisma 13. 5 and 18. So one of them gets calmed down, the other one not so much. Uh, odd stick, even coat. Even the coat guy. Come on, buddy. I got a jacket. It's a magic jacket. I just need you to put it on. Are we there? No, you guys are still in the tower. Horus casts. Oh my goodness. Inflict wounds. <laughs> wow. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah, you think. That's a net 20 to hit. Yeah, he, he's AC 10. <laughs> okay. So his his wounds are very inflicted. Uh, that's going to be... Okay, so 3d10 times 2? Yeah, he's probably going to die. He's not. That's going to be... Ni 19 plus 19, so... Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> problem... Kalima, Kalima, <laughs> as Ooh, do I, hang on, do, do I get, do I, do I get a human heart? I'll give you a human heart uh, that you can enjoy while you're resting in the dungeon. Uh, Gareth, Asher, and Malum, uh, any questions for Lady Sophina? Seraphina, <laughs> sorry. Well, I guess we better be on our way. Yeah, we need to get going. Is there a window? Is there a window in this tower? Oh yeah. I would like to take well, now a. It's in the shape of a V. I'd like to take a look for before we leave. I'd like to look for that elf in the armor. Sure. Uh, perception for that, and then perception for something else. Ooh, that's not bad. Fifteen plus so twenty. Yes, you see the elf hanging out just down the road, leaning up against the building, kind of keeping an eye on the tower. Now, re-roll your perception for me, please. 19. Uh, you see shithead exploded dude in a white coat. <laughs> and you see a dwarf doggy paddling down the river. <laughs> uh, you, al you also see a heavy-duty cadre of guards headed towards uh, your grave cleric. Okay, so I'm going to point back to. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to remember names here. Uh, Gareth, I'm going to point out the fact that that guy's still over here. And then to the group that Shithead has <laughs> literally shot himself in the middle of town here. And Ew, that's nasty. something needs to happen. Sounds like he needs to stay home, go. Back he needs to take a nap. Yeah, he, he's, he's gonna need a nap. Dirt nap. Probably. <laughs> lives in the dirt. In the <laughs> dirt. Horace, you see a cadre of guards coming after you. Okay. Don't do 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 don't do 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 don't do 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 don't. And that's I don't know for a rookie. That's all I got. Sure. Uh, Gareth and Malum, uh, with this new information imparted, do you want to do anything specific? Yeah, I want to go for the exit while the town's being distracted. Head for. Head for the fort or the river or wherever. Head, head north. So the river or one side of the river? Uh, I think the toward the Bright Hill so we can get a – we might be able to see stuff. So right here? Yeah, we'll go to 708. 
Oh seven, oh eight. Uh, Gareth's headed for the hills while Horace deals with the cops. Asher, what do you want to do? I'm heading for the hills. Uh, Malum, what do you want to do? I'm going for the hills. Uh, Horace, what are you going to do? The cadre of guards number is six. Uh, halt in the name of the law. Um, also, going for the hills. He's going for the hills. We get it. The hills. Yeah. Come on. How many crossbow men are shooting at you? Oh. Four. Why are you trying to rush? Uh, 17 and a 16, Me. so plus two, uh, 18 <laughs> and 19. Do those hit? Damn. Horace, do those hit? I'm sorry, repeat that. Uh, 18 and 19. Actually, no. Okay. Uh, they're shooting at you. And give me a perception check. Let's see if you see your friends headed for the hills. That's I want to also be looking if that half elf follows us out of the city. Okay. 16. Uh, yes, you see them headed for the hills. Congratulations, okay. you guys have lasted like 30 fucking minutes in town. <laughs> and committed a murder. <laughs> we didn't. Just we one of us committed a murder. <laughs> Who did I kill? Uh, the sanitarium worker. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, you, you are covered in his blood. Uh, as you guys wander out, the portcullis drops. Uh, more crossbow shots are fired. Uh, they will all miss Horace with horrible rolls tonight. Uh, you guys are outside. Gareth, you will notice that the half-elf uh, remains behind the portcullis. Good. That was a good distraction. So now you guys are outside, 708. Welcome. Uh, Malum, roll me a d20 to start, please. 16. How many uh, demons show up on the way in your oh, head? Uh, my apologies. Uh, roll 2d8. My bad. <gasps> <laughs> yes, I know. Six. Is my and uh, five. fighting styles archery? And yeah. I get plus two is already in my other in my actions. It should be, yeah. Uh, you guys exit and you catch up to uh, the two man, the two guy party. <laughs> uh, Asher, Gareth, and Malum. You do not recognize these individuals, Horace. You recognize them uh, because you just uh, followed them. Are we all together? Actually, all of you recognize him because you were there when you met him. Yes, all four of you were there. Uh, Horace is plodding along. You're. But don't I'm beat him. Need you don't beat him. One of them to give me a wisdom 13. Uh, 13 on the die. Okay. So. He takes 10 necrotic <laughs> damage as Horus rings his bell to toll the dead. Uh, which one were you aiming for? The elven wizard, the gnome sorcerer, the dwarven? Whichever one was harmed. Uh, none of them were harmed. Oh, well then fuck that. They're not going to take that much damage. Um, 
Yeah, they just they're went down. Five necrotic. They what? Five necrotic? Which one? Mm -hmm. Elf, gnome, dwarf, halfling. Uh, Horus is a dwarf, so let's say elf. Fair enough. Uh, for some reason, uh, Malum, Asher, Gareth, uh, this group does not take kindly to that kind of crap, and uh, everybody is going to be hit with two magic missiles. <laughs> Hold up. I, I want to everybody? everybody? Everybody. Whoa, what are you doing? All for one, one for all. Uh... Four and attacking the musketeers. Seven. Each of you take seven hit points of damage as a barrage of magic missiles from uh, the two guy party unload, unleash hell upon you. Uh, everybody, roll initiative. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, I got a nat nineteen. Thirteen. Whoa. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where my in, initiative is initiative is this one. I have Here. twenty. Oh, tw yeah. twenty-one. Asher, you're up first. Uh, looks like we're head-to-head uh, -head combat. Uh, what's our distance? Uh, you guys are ten feet from each other. Okay. Well, I think. I don't know if I want to go double dagger or breath weapon. Okay. Either, either uh, one is fine for me. Which I was going to say no. It's your call. Okay. Well, I think a breath weapon. Okay. Right. So 2d6. Uh, do I get a dodge or saving throw? Uh, what does it say? Dex, Dex 11. So that's going to be a Dex 11 saving throw. Which, which one are you saving at? Saving throw equals 8 plus your constitution modifier plus your proficiency bonus. I rolled a 10. So I got 2 equals... Well, no, you have, you have, a, have, plus, no you have a plus 4. Oh no! It is. It's. It's a Dex eleven save. Either way, they they take damage or they don't. Okay, so if failed, failed is um, two D six. Yeah, half as much. Just press the button. No, either they take damage or they don't. No, they take half damage. Oh, is on that a, what it says? On a, on a successful save. Oh, they okay. failed. They half. Yeah, they failed. Two D six. So they're eight. Gonna, they're gonna, they take twice as much, so 16. No, no. They're going to take eight. If they had saved, they would take four. Okay, there you go. Are you Rookie. aiming for the... You're fine. Are you aiming for the elf, the gnome, the dwarf, or the halfling? Hang on, what's the... No, he's got some range on that shit. I got a 30-foot range. Is it cone? It... It doesn't really say. No, it'll either say cone or line. Go ahead and... Hey, here. here. Breath weapon. Uh, oh, it's usually a cone. I'm not dip well, I guess it depends on his race of drag again. Uh, uh, yeah, what does you and your You and your... It does not say line or cone. It, if it's electrical, it's a line. Most yeah. of the others acid. Should yeah, he's, he's yeah, he's a black dragon. Acid. Okay. It's acid. So I think uh, acid is a bit of line. That's probably gonna still be a cone. Uh, I think acid's a line, black dragon. I do think I think black dragons are a line. Yeah, but, uh, they're a line. Really not hundred percent sure. If it were green, it'd be a uh, bubble. Uh I, who do you want to hit, Asher? Uh oh. so who Okay. That that let's go for the Elf, I guess, still. Add eight more to him. So 13 hit points. Uh, next up's the 19, dirty 20, uh, Gareth. <clears throat> yeah, add, add a 20. All right, what? Son of a bitch. I've already lost two of these dice. Um, I have less than half a year. I will 
I will, see. like... Or whatever. Yeah. Shit, I'm just going to charge him. Okay. Um, hey, you'll be within range, so go ahead. Yeah, all right. I'm going to charge up, and I guess since we're picking on Elf Day, I'm going to say, we don't like to cut a yellow jib. Uh, oh, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, boy. That's 13 to hit him, whatever it gets to hit roll, but maybe uh, you don't. Well, let me see what his AC is. How many, how many herbs and spices did you throw upon that elf? AC is 13, uh, oh. so you hit him. Just hit. All right, <laughs> that is. Let me see what my damage modifier is. Let's, okay, so that's 12 damage slashing with the longsword as I like pop him and go, I don't know why we're fighting you. you said we're 12? fighting you. You said 12? No. Yeah, 12 damage, yes. 25. Barely clinging on. Uh, Malum, uh, you and I tied. I'll let you go first. So I'm going to channel a divinity dreadful aspect to cause fear within 30 feet if failing a wisdom save. The elf fails. The gnome succeeds. The dwarf fails. And the halfling, what do I need, 13? Yes. Uh, halfling sticks. So uh, gnome and halfling both stick, but <coughs> we tied... Uh, the elf is going to cast Scorching Ray at three of you. Uh, D4, whoever comes up does not get targeted by him. Four. Two. Four. Uh, Asher, you will not get targeted. The other three do. Uh, everybody save DC4. 14, but not Asher, because he's fine. Deck 30. Yep. That is Bail. a... Fail. What, what, what are we saving against? 14. 14. Deck 30. What, what's that? Dex. Dex. Okay, that's 17. Sorry. So you passed. Uh, looks like Saver sucks. So, Malum and Gareth. Uh, six hit points of damage. Pew, pew. Uh, the uh, dwarf was in the middle of something and his spell is ruined. Uh, the gnome is going to attack and they are going to attack. Four, uh, that is Horus. The halfling will also attack. One, that is Malum. Uh, they will use short swords because they are short. Horus. That's a six, so that's not going to do it. Malum. No. That's a no, four. They're... That's not going to do it. Uh, not... Horus, you're up. Okay. Who seems to be the most the elf. healthy? Uh, the other three. And any of them? Yeah, because you guys have focused on the elf. Okay, so even though I'm kind of out, out of character, even though I'm kind of in conflict with one of these, can I go get in conflict with another one? Yeah, that's fine. You weren't in melee, so it's not like they're going to get a crack on you. Okay, so I'm going to go to... The gnome. And I'm going to caress his cheek and say, Fredo, you broke my heart. <clears throat> and I'm going to show him the path to the grave. The next attack that hits him, it, he's uh what's the what's the word uh vulnerable they get so advantage on him he takes double damage from the next attack nice 
New round, uh, the Elven Wizard and the Dwarf are running for the hills. The Elf is kind of limping away because he's really in bad shape. The Elven Halfling uh, for this round are sticking around. So Asher with the 21, uh, what do you want to do? I am going to... So the gnome and the halfling, right? Yes. I'm going to take a shot with my longbow at <clears throat> the halfling. Now, with the longbow, you can hit any of the four. Yeah, yeah. up to 600 feet, right? Yep. So I, I took the longbow plus one. Yeah. So, I mean, if you want to shoot the elf and finish him off, you can. Uh, you can I could do that next round. Okay. Uh, so which one are you shooting at, the gnome? Very fair. Uh, I know, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the halfling and not the gnome. All right. Fire away. So, 1d8. This is my 8. First, you got to hit him. Yes, that's, oh, your, that's your 8. Okay, so 20 for hit. Yep. 8, eight. eight plus... I don't think you're going to get it. 13. No, you have, no, you have, but you have, like, plus 13. No, no. What is it? What is it? What do I need to? What's my plus there? You, you roll the eight. What's your? What's your? Go to actions. What's your longbow? Plus seven. So eight plus seven, fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, you hit him. Okay, so it's a eight plus three piercing. Yep. Eight eight points. Nice. Uh, dirty twenty, Gareth. You forgot You're muted. I guess I'm an idiot. All right, so the guy as he's running away, the wizard, I'm yelling out. That's right, you run off. I know you ain't going to be able to handle this adventure. And I go over to the half. I goes, looks like you want some now. What? <laughs> oh, nat twenty. I say, I say, I say, boy. With a nat twenty. <laughs> Nat 20. That is 15 damage total. He got his bell rung. Uh, 14. Malum, uh, you and I tied. You can go first. So I will cast Hellish Rebuke. Okay. Um, I, so, um, I yeah, that's saving throw. Don't you have to use... Isn't Hellish Rebuke a reaction? Yes. Yeah, she could have done it so last who, time. No, so, so who, this hurt time. Who, who hurt you? The missiles. The missiles. Oh, okay. True. New guy. Uh, seven. <laughs> nope. What's the damage on Hellish Rebuke? Uh, 2d10. And who was the one that hit everybody? Was it the elf? You said... I thought that we all got okay. hit by a band of missiles. So. Yeah, yeah, but, was, yeah, but only one of them was like successful. I, I think the gnome actually fired. Okay. Wherever he is, he's a badass. Yeah. Oh, I got fifteen. Uh, he used to be a badass. Oops. The gnome amaliates. Uh, but before the Nova Maliates, I get my turn because we tied. I'm going to firebolt. Uh, who am I going to firebolt? Three and two. So Asher and Gareth, I will shoot a firebolt at you. Asher, eight is going to miss. Uh, 16 plus six, uh, 24, you are going to get hit. Uh, four hit points, Garrett. Not you. All right. Oh, it's a... My turn? It is your turn. Um... The one that just attacked my friend is the one that I cast, or, or I'm sorry, is is the one that I softly caressed. Yes, that's the gnome. He's dead. Oh, he's oh, dead. oh shit! Oh yeah, he's he's fucking dead. 
I am going to cast Inflict Wounds. Halfling. No, it doesn't fucking matter if he's a halfling or not. No, Inflict, inflict Wounds is like the, the, the cleric spell. I'm going to, so he is going to be vulnerable to it. So he is going to take two times. Did you hit? Oh, I, I, hang on, let me make sure I hit. Uh, 17 hits. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he is going to take, uh, 4d10 times two. He is going to take 38 times 2 damage as I softly touch his, touch his cheek. Uh, as the elven wizard and the dwarven druid limp off, uh, they leave your line of sight. You can pursue or say fuck it and loot the bodies. I mean, since loot I'm the body, loot the body. I kind of want to see what he has on him. I want to use um, second win to recover hit points. Okay. I got yeah. Don't ask the healer for yeah. heal. Uh, well, I got I Malum. Do. Probably will actually. Yeah, I got Malum looting the bodies. Asher, what are you doing? Plus ten. Um. I am. I probably want to loot the bodies too, as well. I guess. Horace, what are you doing? Oh no! I I I said is. As I was as, as I was gently caressing his cheek. So I want. Sorry, I'll wait. To see maybe I won't. <laughs> what? I, I can mute him if you'd like. He's, got, He's right next to me. It's not him. <laughs> we have to both be muted. muted. <laughs> uh, okay, Malum, Asher, okay, and Horace. Long story short, Horace is also looting. Uh, all three of you roll a d20. I roll five. I want, I want to change my answer real quick. I want to ask a question. Sure. So we're at 708. Mm -hmm. The foothill is at 607. Correct. You said they just got out of our eyesight or whatever, line of sight? They went down to the river. But he's got range of I got range of 600 feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can still shoot at him. If I can see him, right? Yep. So I'd like to pop a shot at the uh, the elf. Sure. So what's that? 12 plus. 7, 8, 19. Oh, yeah, you hit him. 1d8. That's a 10. Uh, yeah, he only had one left, so he's dead. Okay. And I want to go loot him. Okay. Uh, Malum, Asher, Horus, d20. Straight up. 12. 18. No, you're not. 17. Uh, Malum, you know you you Asher, Potion. Oh. You find the potion of healing, Asher. Uh, you find uh, field notes. Pretty useful. Field notes. Yep. Stating what? Does he read them? Yeah, of course. Uh, the ruins of the ancient temple known as the Sistine Chapel uh, is at 704. These guys actually spoke to people and did their homework. What? They didn't just run out the city? <laughs> they didn't, after, after yeah, they didn't the sanatorium guy? No. no like, I, like I said, we did Ice Fire Peak last night, so we're, we're, trying, to, we're trying to be grown-ups. <laughs> You're failing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> we're trying 
killing the competition is a really mm -hmm. grown up answer. You know, mm -hmm. maybe teaming up together. Uh, Asher, you also noticed uh, something in the notes uh, with question marks, uh, and it's uh, paw paw question mark question mark. Yeah, like no. -A -W. Like what? Like P-A-W, Paw Paw? Yep. You have no idea what that means. That's a fruit. Somebody's grandpa. Mm -hmm. That's what I call my Paw Paw. I'll be that I baby. Say, I got to go to Paw Paw's house. Mama likes Paw Paw. Was your Paw Paw a cat? <laughs> no. Why would I be? my grandfather be a cat? Quit talking about your pussy, Carrie. That's just common spelling. Paws, P A W, is like rare. Paw. That's Midwest spelling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but when down in the southern places, we call Paw Paw Grandpa. Grandpa Paw Paw. That's Papa. I have another joke. No. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> We don't have time for that. <laughs> I would like to suggest a short rest to the group. Short rest, okay. Second, well, no, but but legitimately, oh, whatever. Uh, you guys can use your hit dice. Uh, you have four to choose from for your short rest. What is the, what is the goal? Where where are we Me? headed? I for one, I want to get my breath back. My cool. Plus two. Did, didn't what 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 are what are we doing? So I will. They're taking a short rest to get their hit points back. Then they're going to the Sistine Chapel at o seven o four. Okay, that's fair. We're go, we're going to we're going to potentially receive a quest from the the Lady of the Lake. Mm -hmm. Sure. You guys should have left him in town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to. So through the 704, the northern woods there. Yep. Go through 607. Yeah. And then. So what, one, two, three hours later? Well, three and a half. I'm sure he's going to make us roll for randoms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, because guess what? There's okay. no such thing as just getting from point A point to point B. Point B. Yeah. I am proficient in the forest, though. I don't but, know if that... But, yeah, you're looking at four hours, a four-hour tour. A four, at least four, because I think... Not three? Not one, three. Two. You got to go three, 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 seven, three, one three, of these. I'm not the yes. only one arguing with him. Okay, so I get hit points back for a short rest. How do I do a short rest on here? Uh... Literally, it will say short rest. Go no, scroll to the top. Scroll to the top. Short rest. There you go. Yep. So you can spend. You have four hit die. And, and if you and if you're damaged, you, you can spend. You can also heal, but you're you're at full health. So I'm at twenty five out of so, thirty two. So, yeah. So oh. Twenty five out of thirty two. Oh, okay. Then you so, want to heal. I would use at least one head die. I don't know how to do that. So what is what? What's your class? He's uh, ranger. He's, he's a he's a ranger on D and D D and D D. You roll a D ten and add your Constitution bonus for for like to spend one of your head die. But how D10 does he is, keep track of his head dice? There was there was for one short. I, I don't can, know how D and D. Have to hit the it, check mark right there, right? I four. think there's a space where it tracks the hit die. Yeah. Die. So I got four total slots. So I hit one of those slots, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. to spend it and then roll your D10 plus and add whatever your constitution bonus is. Constitution. D10, plus one. So D10, I got plus D10 five. Was four. So I got plus was, five. Yeah. Wow. So plus you, you five. recover nine. No. I got four plus, plus five. One, plus one. My constitution you said is one. Your constitution oh. is plus one. Oh, one. Okay, okay, so you have five, then you would get five back. All right, I'm like, dude, I do play, I do play Skyrim. I get, I get the basics. <laughs> Anyways, what are we doing now? You're fine. Uh, short rest is over. You guys uh, pack up your shit. Uh, they're all short people, so their boots aren't gonna fit 
Uh, and you guys head to 607. Uh, who is D6ing against me for this one? Each one of you is going to get a crack at it. A 20 or D6? I'll take I'll take a three at a crack at it. Five. Two. Right. Uh, you find Bright Hill. If you want, you can climb Bright Hill. See if you can see anything, or you may continue on. If you climb Bright Hill, it will slow you down. This is no. 607. This is 607. No, let's just keep okay. going now that we know we're kind of where we're heading. Uh, yeah, as, you, as you guys seven. pass 607, uh, you hear screaming and small rocks are thrown at you from a pair of ogres atop uh, Bright Hill. Fortunately, you did not climb Bright Hill, so you will not have to attack them. You can run like bitches into the tree line of Forest of Elder Tree. Do you want to go to... Six, can I six or get 706? Survival. For what? Look the same amount of sinister, I guess. The one that's under the RT. Six or seven oh six. Yeah, it looks good. Seven oh six. Uh, who is rolling D six against me this time? I can. Good. Three. Five. I got five. Uh, you enter the forest of Elder Tree, and it is a conifer forest filled with pine trees. Uh, not much grass underneath. It's very thick, and it will be easy to get lost, except Asher is a ranger with proficiency in forest, so you will not get lost at all. Who is the next one up to roll AD6? I also speak Sylvan. Nice. If we need I, got to go a, to I speak Southern. <laughs> I got a six. Uh, Asher, roll me 2d8, please. Just roll it twice. This one, though. Yeah, but twice. Six. Six, six plus. Ten. Four. No, six plus. Yeah. Six plus four. <laughs> Ten. So Ten. Uh, loud roar is heard, and a crashing uh, can be heard but not seen uh, as the conifer branches part. An enormous grizzly bear surfaces. Everybody roll initiative. You have met Papa. Or a soldier with an animal. That's not my Papa. Loses. 16. I got a 19. 17, 19, 18, intentionally lost. Uh, 19, Asher. Holy shit, it's a fucking bear. And bears will fucking kill you. Uh, you're up. Um. Hmm. So... Time for combat. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to use my breath weapon again. Cause uh, how far away? How far away is? Oh yeah, we we have. What's our rest. range? Yeah. Um, do a range. Ten feet. Oh my god. Ten feet. It's right okay. on top of you. So my acrobatics. Okay. Um, my what's so what's animal handling? And that doesn't matter. <laughs> Not for grizzlies, right? Yeah, that doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my uh, breath weapon. Huh? And I need to roll twenty to hit. Uh, I think I get a save, and I don't think I got it. What is uh? What am I saving? Again? It was a thirteen last time, or I think it was a twelve or a thirteen last time. But what is it against? Death. Uh, Constitution. Okay. Oh, plus proficiency. So, excuse the fuck. My DC. What is my DC? I'm sorry. 
Uh, here, here. Let me see what you're talking about. Okay, so DC for saving this is... Uh, no, so... Saving so is save, equals 8 plus your constitution. No, no, no. So you're going to go against save. And it's going to be... 8 plus X, your constitution. No, it's, it, no, it's going to be dex 11. Dex 11? Okay. Yes. 12, so I pass. So you take half the damage... Of two D six. Okay. Three. Nine. So, so nine. Nine divided by two. Four and a half. Four. Five. Round down. Uh, ba ba Eighteens. Uh, Gareth, uh, you and I tied. I will let you go first. I got a sixteen. Oh, you got a sixteen? Oh, I'm going to start whooping some ass. There you go. Uh, I'm going to. What am I going to do here? Uh, I am going to bite and claw, is what I'm going to do. So the bite. One, Malum, and the claw. Four, Horus. Uh, so Malum. I don't think you for being a uh, 13. Friend. No, nope. fuck no. And Horus, 17 plus 5, 22. That, that will hit, yeah. Uh, da, 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 Ooh, ouch. Uh, 13 hit points of damage, slashing. Uh, okay. Next up, seventeen. Uh, Malum. Could, could I have taken a bonus action after the breath? Uh, not with a breath weapon. Okay. With with other actions, yes, but not with a breath weapon. Okay. Malum, you're up. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Seven to hit. Not even close. <laughs> Gareth, you're up. Isn't it my All turn? Right. Uh, you intentionally wanted to lose, right? Yeah. I thought we were at the end of the... No, I haven't gone yet. Gareth, Gareth had a 16. Oh, okay. Right. I had the 18. Want... Kira had the 17. Ash had the 19. He has the 16. I'm, I'm going right. to whack it with Ready? my long sword. Right. I had an AC 16. 13 is what you need. I am going to stabby, stabby bear boy. Oh, kind of weak. Seven, seven slashing damage. Huh? But it's magical. Ooh. Is that it? It was seven damage. Uh, Horace, you're up. Who is. I'm going to go on a smoke break. <laughs> right. Up. Ah. In. Combat. That's more than six seconds. He's over. Range. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> you know what do you mean who's in combat range? That was the question, yes. Otherwise, I will ask it again, like slow talking Morris. <laughs> <laughs> He slashed the shit out of you. Uh, he's definitely in combat range. No, who, who the fuck is in combat range? Everybody. All of us. Everybody? Yeah. Who seems to be most hurt? Probably you. You just got your ass handed to you. <laughs> I, don't give a, I don't give a fuck about that. I'm going to go up to... Carrie, hmm? what what the fuck's your name? Malon. Malon. I'm going to go up to Malon. I'm just going to gently... Don't touch around. me. Friendly fire, friendly fire. Don't touch me. PTSD. Don't touch me. PTSD. <laughs> I'm just going to gently caress the back <clears throat> of her head. I'm, and I'm going to cast Warding Bond. Cast what? Warding bond. What does that mean? 
You have uh, you have plus one to your defense, but I take half your damage. You also take half your damage. New round. Uh, Asher, you're up. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how these actions and attacks work. Can I climb a tree and then attack? Um, Efficient in forest. I'll let him do it. I'll let you do it. I'll let him. Do I need to roll for climbing? Uh, yeah, give me an athletics roll. Let's make sure you don't fall out of the tree. <laughs> A 20. Fall out of the tree. Yeah, you, you go hopping up and down the tree branches. Go ahead and fire. It's only a nine. Uh, that is a miss. So I got halfway up and fell. But that was your attack roll, right? Oh, a nine was your climb roll? Athletic nine. Oh, yeah, no. <clears throat> yeah, you got about uh, roll a D10. That's how many feet you got up. Three, so I didn't get hurt. <laughs> yeah, you, you got three feet up, and now your hands are covered in sap. Uh, okay, who gets the bite this time? I want to hey, use my pr protector. I have protector. I want to impose disadvantage on his attack on one of my allies. Don't you? When can you use that? It's a. It's like a mm -hmm. fighting ability. It's. A, I thought that was a reaction. A fighting style. Yeah, it's like a reaction. It's a reaction. So I'm doing it on his turn. It's a reaction against when he attacks one of my allies. Okay. And what it it imposes disadvantage on his attack. Uh, who? Which ally are you going to support? Whoever one he's attacking. Well, he's going to this, attack two of them. This, this, the this first round, one, the his, first one. he's imposing his, disadvantage. This attack. No, it only for one attack, but it will be the first attack. Uh, that will be against Horus. The claw is going against Asher, uh, probably, presumably trying to gut his ass, since that's what he is showing. So, at <laughs> disadvantage on Horus. A two and a four. So right. I'll take the two. Yeah, neither one of those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after yeah. the claw, eight plus seven, 15. 13. Uh, that's going to hit 2d8. It's just that second attack. <laughs> uh, one and three, so four plus five, nine damage. As he cuts your britches open. Yeah. 17. No <laughs> now, now that fart can escape. Malum, you're up with a 17. Uh, And swing in a bit. Uh, Gareth, you're up. Okay, I'm going to attack him with the longsword. Okay. Uh, that is a 19 to hit. That hits. With, come on, baby. Uh, eight, eight slashing damage. That will whittle him down. Yeah, that ain't no shit. Uh, Horace, you're up. We're only level four. I'm like shit. I'm whack this bear, bud. Going to cast Troll the Dead. That's fine. I need a wisdom thirteen. Uh plus one. Well, better than I thought. 18 plus one, 19. Suck or save. Uh, new round. Asher, uh, whoo, you can feel the breeze on your buttocks. 
So I'm going to take a 30 minute walk back. Just retreat a little bit behind everybody else. Did you say 30 minute? You know what I mean. 30, 30, 30 feet. feet. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> that, that, that works. Like, between, between being a little bit tipsy and the freaking yeah. new guy. Yeah. No, that, that's, that's fine. Just like 30 minute. Holy shit. Uh, after yeah. just left the game. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's fair. Uh, now, turning your back on me, if I target you, I'm going to get a plus on that. So just to let you know in advance, is that how you want to do it? I was explaining the okay. opportunity, opportunity attack. Yeah. So can I can I somersault backwards and still land on my feet facing forwards? With are, are you are you a rogue? You can do something called a disengage, which will let you forego any action for the turn and still yeah, move but, the but, but if you're not if you're not a rogue. I'm a ranger. You, you can, yeah, you can't None use your bonus action to disengage. No, but he can. He can what it means is you him. won't get an attack, but you can still move back, but you won't get an attack. But, Without a disadvantage? No, no. Be, uh, well, no, because <coughs> the, the the creature will still get an attack of opportunity. Not if you disengage. Use your action to do the disengage action. Yeah, that's what I mean. Use your movement to move 30 yeah, feet back. So disengage? Mm hmm. Fair enough. Uh, the creature is going to go after bite. Three. Claws. Sorry. Four. Uh, so, Gareth, I want to I want to uh, try to use my reaction to protect Horus, I guess. Okay. Don't protect me. I don't fucking need it. No, he's a big fat fucking tank. Well. He really doesn't need I, it. I have a free reaction to do something with it, so he gets a disadvantage on the horse. Uh, 26 to hit Gareth. Uh, disadvantage yeah. for Horace is a four and a four. <laughs> I can't use it on myself. So oh, okay. That's fair. You gotta guess. No. So, 2d8. Uh, one, four, plus five, ten damage slashing Gareth. All right. Is anyone, is anyone critical? Not even the bear. Malum, you're up. Yep. There's a lot nicer with more players. It, I was going to say, is, is it, is it Forrest's turn? Nope. Madams. Oh. So 10 does not hit. Uh, no. Are you using a D20 to do this or something else? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, just a, D, a D10. No, we're only a level four. <laughs> Gareth, I, all you need is a 13 to hit this fucking thing. I know. <laughs> it's, and she's like, a, she's like a paladin, so, you know. <laughs> Gareth attacks again. Oath oh no, no, I'm yeah, Oath Breaker. Oath Breaker. Yeah. <laughs> I got a, I got just barely a thirteen. There you uh, go. Another freaking eight damage slashing. You are whittling him down. Horus, you're up. I do not trust. The way I'm gonna cast Ray of Enfeeblement. Make make it ha make it what what you want. I need a a key. What am I rolling against? Huh? What what am I saving against? I don't think you're saving against anything. I think I'm rolling, but I, I, I hit 15, 4, what, what the fuck does it say I'm supposed to do? Concentration up to one minute at the end. Uh, yeah, basically the way it works is 
that the target gets half damage on the weapon attacks that you strength. So on his you attacks, mean, well, no, ray, ray of enfeeblement means it should take double damage. No, it doesn't take any damage. It Ooh. what it does is reduce the target's attack damage. Oh, gotcha. A black beam of enervating energy springs from your fingers towards a creature within range. No. Make a range attack spell. On a hit, the target deals only half damage with weapon attacks that use strength until the spell ends. And at the end of each target, uh, it can make a constitution saving throw against the spell. Yep. And if right. successful, it ends. Okay, fair enough. Uh, new round. Asher, you are up. I'm going to take a shot with my longbow. Okay. 17 plus 7, so I hit. Yep. And 8. And 5. 2. Plus 3. Okay. So 5. 5 damage. Got it. Uh, let's see. Beak. Mouth attack is against Malum. Uh, claws against 3. Gareth. Uh, if I hit, it's half damage on, uh, for Malum. Yeah. Uh, no, for me, for me. No. 13 and an 8 does a 15 hit you, Malum. Nope. Uh, so the bite is ineffective on Gareth. 14 plus 7, 21. Oh, uh, yeah, that hits. He, he's day. flashing the shit out of you. But it's half damage. Yeah. Five, two, five, oh. twelve. Half damage is six. That's fortunate. Cause uh, let me roll my con hurt. save. Two. So I, I will not break that concentration. Uh, Malum, you're up. Maybe you could hit something. Please and um, thank you. Does anybody need healing? Like, are you going to die? I'm two thirds. No. Okay. Uh, I, I I'm at, I'm at half, but I can heal myself. Thank you. Seventeen. Seventeen hits. <coughs> My great axe. One d twelve plus three. Snarf, snarf. Well, Ooh, big dick damage. Uh, Gareth. Gareth will bonus action get second wind and recover uh, a measly five hit points and then whack him with the sword again. Oh, nat 20. Another freaking nat 20. Nice. That's good. Not the Paul Paul. <laughs> Paul Paul, you ain't my real Paul Paul. Ma, baby, she's a she's a chop a wall. It hurts. <laughs> Fourteen damage. After she have chop a wall. Uh, sixty-one. Nicely done, Horus. You're up. What am I? What am I gonna do? Yep, we're waiting for you. Exactly. Yeah. What, what am I rolling? I don't know. What do you want to do? You just Engage. maintain concentration. Yeah. You can still do whatever you need to do now. You just can't do another concentration spell. Oh, uh, yeah. I was doing very of enfeeblement. But you don't have to do it again. You just keep maintaining yeah. concentration. Oh, no, no, no. Fuck it. Brave and enfeeblement failed. I'm going I'm to do, I'm do something. <laughs> forgot, forgot, forgot that I was supposed to be an adult. Um, Everybody's a gangster until it comes time to do nope. gangster shit. Gonna do warding bond against oh. who's the most hurt? Uh, probably you or Gareth would be my guess. Gareth, warding bond. I'm go. I'm. I'm going. Just make sure that he knows. Lay on hands. 
No, make sure that he that he knows I'm behind him. Bad touch, Gareth. Bad touch. Yeah. Uh, that's your no no. That's his no no square. Yup, yup, but Asher, you're Don't. up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take another swing with the longbow. It's an eight plus seven. Longbow. Fourteen. Fifteen. Uh, Fourteen hits. Fifteen hits. Um. Four, five, six, plus seven damage. Uh, that is enough to finish off Pawpaw. Uh, the great beast falls to one side, uh, and as you can guess, his paws are enormous, and that's why they called him Pawpaw. Um, so can we skin this bitch? We won't cut their claws what? off. I, I, I'd at least like to, um... The short answer is yes. You have to use animal handling. All right, I'm going I have, for it. I have, and I have, I have a little bit of proficiency plus three in animal handling. Uh, I got nineteen. Yeah. She. Be uh, yeah, you skin that bitch. Just save the paws so we can turn them in for the reward. Well, of course. Any animal this Nancy's probably got a bounty out for it. Well, you can you can just cut them off with like a battle axe because that that part's not any big deal. Uh, yeah, but I need the skin and all that crap. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you with a nineteen, you skin the shit out of that. So I want to I want to check the stomach contents. Yeah. The funsies. Uh, D twenty against me. You. Yay. Nat 16. Uh, D8 against me. Five. Mm. Uh, Uno. All right. Uh, all you find uh, is a bag of coins. Roll, yeah. two, roll 2 D20. And that's how many gold coins are there. 2 D20. Yep. Five. 12, 17. 17 gold coins, and uh, let's roll a d4 here for how many fingers? Three fingers. What about penises? No penises. Unless, unless, unless one of the fingers is uh, a demo human penis. Ah. Could, could, have could have been a penis. Could have been a penis. Might be a penis. <laughs> I mean, if you wanted penises, you could have uh, stripped it off the... Uh, Two guy party. Hey, because they'd only be half size. Sit up. Exactly. Sit up. Okay, so you've uh, killed Papa. It's taken an hour and then some. Uh, you guys are at 7.05. Right? No. No, yeah. we're in the RT. Yeah, you, you are 7.06. What do you wake up? You're done? Go to six, 6.05, I guess. Six five. I mean, part of the forest. D six against me. Pick it up. Turn it off. I don't. I rolled one. Madam, I think you're up. D six. Thanks. Six. Ah, uh, you win. Nothing's in six oh five. As you enter into seven oh four, who's going to roll investigation to find this bitch? I will. Good. What am I rolling? Uh -oh. Investigation. Oh boy. No. What? Uh-uh. Yucky. Thirteen. Fifteen or sixteen? Thirteen. Thirteen? Oh, it's you. Fourteen. You did not find it. I'm going to need somebody to roll another D6 against me. Yach. D6. Four. Six. Uh, now roll me 2D8, please. There's another encounter. One. Three. So four? Yeah, total. Yep. 
uh, a, cool. a tree that you are passing by flicks open eyeballs uh. and it says, I am the tree of trickling. Pass my riddle and I will help. Fail my riddle and I will hurt. So, so my silk tree that will people my... be on? Sure, we'll go with a pea tree. <laughs> Will my Sylvan languages help me in advantages? Uh, no, it, it hears, uh, it, it speaks in common. Its riddle is as follows. Oh, God. I flow without moving, sing without voice. I am older than the mountains, yet younger than the sky. What am I? I hate you. You're welcome. I want to huddle and confer with my colleagues, but time. We repeat the quick we riddle one more time. I flow without moving, sing without voice. I am older than the mountains, yet younger than the sky. What am I? I think time. time. I have two votes. Time, Gareth. What's, what is younger than sky? Light time. Maybe. I get the I get the flow without moving to the older than the mountains, but I'm not sure about seeing or younger. Well. But sight. Light would be sight. Yeah. Without being present, there is no time. Maybe. I don't know. I'm the fucking rookie here. I would say time's a good guess. I just don't know if I know if it fits the whole riddle. I don't, I'm just I don't Yes. Well, without moving, definitely seems like time. So time? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I guess I don't know it. Asher stands up and says time. Mm -hmm. Rookie for the win. The answer is time, which flows like a silent <laughs> river. Uh, the Look at the big brain on Brad. <laughs> the, the, the conifer says, how may I help you? I pee on it. Wow. We I'm need... Kidding. We need to know where the You're not house broken. What were you looking for? The Sistine Chapel is Sistine Chapel uh, yes. is four hundred yards in a northeasterly direction. Thanks for the hill and the assist on the way out. But... Can you draw a map for us? Because it's a tree. We like looked and we suck at this. <laughs> it's four hundred yards. It's like four football fields. <laughs> All right, we'll come back. We don't find it. Whatever. I ask it. I well, no, I really like. So, do you have any job openings <laughs> for a tree? No, for me. You're talking to a From tree. The... I am. Maybe they need a protector. She's wanting to put down roots in the area. Ah. <laughs> Uh, no, we already have a forest ranger. You're going to regret that. I regret it already. <laughs> 400 yards. Asher being the ranger of the forest. Roll a d20. Anything but a nat one gets you to the Sistine Chapel. Not 500 miles. Nat, nat 19. There you go. 400 <laughs> Uh, yards and a beeline. Uh, the, there's a small clearing here at the forest. Uh, there are a lot of old stone uh, abutments. Certainly it appears as though the ruins are here. In the middle there is a large circular stone riser. Uh, and then draw a dick on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> But do it slowly. <laughs> One uh, ball <laughs> at a time. <laughs> uh, uh, the stone riser, the circular stone riser, uh, has the remains of an altar on it, and it looks like uh, the stones here are irregularly shaped. Everybody give me an insight. Oh, God. All these skills mm -hmm. I don't have. I, I got a horrible. Nat four. 11. 
11 for me as well. Ah, it's just a regular stone. Yeah, it's just, it's just rocks. Now, you notice that some of the stones have uh, old blood on them, dried blood. They're smoking in. Like, all of them? No, uh, just in certain spots. It's like somebody got mauled here. You know, like a friend of the Enchantress. A massacre or a sacrifice? That's a good question. You can't really tell with your insight roll, though. Okay. You guys are lucky to be breathing and walking with those insight rolls. Hey, is he still playing? We are all still playing. Everybody's playing but you. Horace we killed dead. him here. <laughs> yeah. Hor Horace has it, it's past his bedtime. That's right. Horace is you need a yeah. sacrifice in order to open the secret chamber. I volunteer okay. Horus. <laughs> yeah, I'll slide him up there. I yeah. offer him up after emptying his pockets. <laughs> there you go. Everybody roll investigation for me, please. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hey. A 22. No, nice. 21. 21. Oh, this doesn't look good. 21? Yes. Go ahead. I got a two. <laughs> Asher? I got a six. Uh, Gareth, uh, you find a little hidden switch and it operates. A, the riser starts to circle down. It's uh, like a secret door, uh, but it's in a circular stairway. Uh, down below, it smells musty, gusty, and bad. I found a hidden stairs. Let's go down. And then I'll lead the way. Okay. Uh, as you get to the bottom, there's a small mausoleum here with a stone coffin. Atop the stone coffin is a uh, piece of jewelry with a copper necklace and a, a garnet heart. Oh. I want to do some kind of check for traps. Yeah. Well, not being a rogue, give me uh, investigation at disadvantage. I'm a ranger. Yep. Okay. Ranger. Investigation. Eight. Um, yeah, you're nine. Right. Yeah, it's probably fine. <laughs> I'm just going to grab the... I don't know, guys. Me. This might not be a good idea. <laughs> you're just going to grab it, Gareth? Yeah. Gareth. I duck. Perfectly fine, I'm sure. Yanks it. Uh, it swings in his hand. Now that happens. And then oh my. go back. I guess like well, I guess we're done here. Yeah, I want to loot this place. What's this? What's this coffin yeah. thing? Do we need to like? We open need this? to go. No, we're going. Why not? We, there might the be something done. in that. Let's for the one and done. I, I want to see what's in the coffin, don't y'all want to see? All right, I'm, well, I'm with him. Yeah, okay, okay you talked me into this? it. I will hold on to the necklace, <laughs> and you guys can look at the coffin. We'll meet you outside. That's fine, but <laughs> I'm holding the necklace. Sure. You yeah. wait with Horace. You can hold the necklace. Mm -hmm. You wait with Horace. I will. <laughs> you have my word on it. My oath is my bond as an oath breaker. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sure, I'll still be there. I twitch. Yeah, no, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> is the, uh, is the coffin look like it's been open piece. recently? or Nope. Coffin hasn't been open in forever. There's cobwebs and everything else. It's going to take a uh, strength roll. You guys need to roll uh, strength. Uh, Madam Malum, are you going up top? Up top where? Uh, stairs. Up, up the stairs. Top of the stairs. But I've got the necklace, right? Yes. Yes, I will head that way. Are you going to stick <laughs> around? No. Not at all. I don't, and I don't believe the fact that she's going to wait either. <laughs> okay, Gareth and Asher, roll your strength rolls, please. So D twenty well, plus five. strength. Wow. I got a sixteen. Uh, so 21, uh, do you get, is that a five natural roll or is that a five with any of your pluses? That's a, a four nat plus one. 
21. I might be able to beat that. I do not beat it. Uh, the grinding noise of stone on stone is heard as you guys flex your hero muscles and the putrid sewer scent from Adventure <laughs> Sense escapes the coffin and fills the room. I will take constitution rolls from both of you, please. But we're not named Kyle. I know. That we would have had disadvantage if we were Kyle. I, I, I got, got a, a nat 18 15. plus something. What I think was I that for? 15 overall. Uh, it just stinks. It's like a really bad fart, and since you guys have been traveling together for a while, it doesn't really affect you. Um, uh, you see <laughs> movement inside the stone coffin, and a very pale creature armed with a long sword escapes and yells out, You give me back my necklace, you grave robbers! Uh, initiative, you two and the white. <laughs> Nice. Apparently, it's so in the south I got a right? twenty. I got a eight. eighteen twenty, and okay. I screamed. She went that way. Nice. Garrett, We're just here to meet. I got an eight. Uh, I got a nine. So twenty, Asher, you're up first. I screamed. She went that way. Persuade me. Oh no, that's the word. Yeah, persuade. Sixteen. <laughs> I'm 16 oh. plus 2. 18. Uh, the white heads towards the stairs, uh, but stops halfway up as the sunlight streams in, spins around and goes, uh, you malicious bastards, I I'm going to make you pay, uh, and holds its ground because it used its movement. Uh, Gareth, you're up. Now the way out of here is blocked by the white. <laughs> And his name is Mr. White. That's Mr. not White. even a girl. Walter, Walter White. I yeah. say it. Heisenberg, please. Mr. Let Heisenberg, Walter White. <laughs> HWW. You're uh, a domicile. I want to go whack him. Ah! I'm going to hit him. Sure. Oh! Uh, a nat 19, which is a crit for me because I am improved critical. <laughs> So, that is a crit. You're, you're going to need to because it's just two of you against this creature. Yeah, hey, we can beat a white. Come on. How bad it could be? Let's All right. Forward. That is I'm trying to get 16 damage. damage. Pretty damn good. Magical bad. weapon magic. Nice. Uh, new round. Asher, uh, the white. Uh, Mr. Heisenberg is blocking the path out, and Gareth is engaged with him. What do you want to do? In, in between He's him and I. Like, in, in between him and the monster or whatever, right? Yep. So I think I'm going to pop the long ball, the long bow. If you roll a one, you're shooting Gareth in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah. I got a 12 plus 7. That hits. 19. Yeah. 19. 1d8. Got a 6 plus 3, so 9. Uh, Gareth, uh, he can only hit you, so he's going to try and hit you. Uh, I don't think he hit you. 9, nine plus 4. He hit here. 9, he's a 20. He can't hit Asher. Okay. Uh, Gareth, you're up. All right, I'm going to hit him again. Try to, anyway. Oh, that's a 17 plus 7, 24. That hits. 14 is your magic number here. And that will do you a normal damage roll of 8. It's still not too bad. Not bad. Asher, top of the order. So 18 plus 7. That I hit. Gonna paralyze one of us. We're gonna be fucked. Six. <laughs> That's what happened in the Mardu campaign. Uh, Malum, are you gonna head back to town with your treasure or <laughs> GTFO in a different direction? I want to investigate what it actually does. So you're gonna put it on? Yes. D12 against me. <laughs> Six. Well, 
her rolling tonight. Two. Eight. Eight. Uh, <laughs> eight beats my six. Uh, I will give you roll a d6. Uh-huh. Six. Uh, your charisma improves by one. The heart wood is apparently an Ioun stone that increases your charisma by one. Well, that doesn't seem worthwhile. Be Not too hard. Wizard. <laughs> so whatever your charisma was, it is now plus one. This is just very tiresome and All of my compatriots are assholes, so I'm leaving. <laughs> okay, new round. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, Blake, and you fucking dipped out halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead with the longbow one more time for the one time. You know, that a, one a bowl with in- lukewarm water would be a real advantage here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize we were doing this. <laughs> so I I hit I don't I miss with a ten. <laughs> miss with a ten. Uh, the white attacks Gareth again. Uh, Twelve plus four sixteen. That was the bear. That was not the. It's a one. twenty hit. Wow, Gareth, you're up. All right. That was a probably a miss. That is a twelve. That is a That's miss. Me. Asher. New round. You guys have given Malin a ton of time to get G- GTFO. <laughs> Gareth. You're trying to give her a head start. Gareth, how are you feeling? Fine. Hit point got, twice. He, had, he hasn't hit me yet. <laughs> okay. So, um, <laughs> I still have horses. No. I still have I'm horses. Like- why cheat would anybody sheet. want this back? Uh, I still have a horse's cheat sheet. He wakes up from his nap and stops the madam. <laughs> if, we're, if we're doing this. <laughs> so anyways, I'm, I'm, my, I pull my longbow out. I draw my string. And nine and seven. Nine and seven hit. Yes, that hits. Uh, just a, a six. Okay. Uh, Malum, D6 against me to see if you are stopped or have a clear path to victory. Two. Well, as long as you make good time, you should be there by nightfall. Uh, Gareth, I will attack you again. With a 14 plus 4 is 18. Dang, grab it! Give me back my necklace, you bastard! Uh, Gareth, you're up. All right. I say, no, oh, you Blake, can't. You, can. you, you could go chase awesome. after the girl that took it, but you're trying to fight us. So that's you can't, you can't, uh, you can't, 14. You can't hit daylight. 14 hits. And, ooh, nice roll. Um, a 12 damage. That is nice. 57. Uh, new round, Asher. Eight plus seven hits. Eight plus seven hits. Eight, so ten. Uh, nope. Eleven damage. Eight and three. Sixty-eight, the white finally falls like seen being in every movie he's ever done. Uh, Asher, Gareth, as you reach the top side again, you notice that Horace is still vomiting and Madame Malin yep. is GT. What are you saying to me? Um, I know, right? I guess we chase her. One of yeah, you we D- chase her down. One of you D6 against me. Let's see if you are Problem City. Um, I'm proficient. I am proficient in the woods. Forest. That's true. He can track her. Yeah, he can six. track her. Six. I roll a six for whatever you need. Yep, you can track. And uh, I can move twice as fast as her. Can you? Because my, my movement speed is 30, but it's an hour through the woods, and I could probably move in half the moves. 
or whatever you like, whatever he's like. So I'm proficient. Well, are you going to stick with Gareth or are you going to run the risk of fighting something by yourself? That's, I am. Going, I am going. I am going to run her down and track her. Okay. Wow! Not make her aware of my presence. So when we get back to the city, we all get our reward. Type is my thinking. Okay. Uh, I have good stealth. So all three of you will d six against me. So <laughs> now are, are you? Me? Can't wait, we all die in a random encounter. So. Right. <clears throat> I had a two. Horace, you've been knocked out. Yeah, Horace, you're you've you are tired. Okay. It's the cool. tortoise you in the hair. And- you were ass raped by the white. <laughs> by the tree. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not angry you're laying about- next to the bear right now. I'm not angry about it, but does anyone need heels? <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. Thanks, but no thanks. Okay, I, okay. I rolled a four. Eat so shit yourself. Now, what, what, what's your roll? Uh, what am I rolling? D six. I knew you started pregaming way too early. More. <laughs> right, so you're saying after what was your roll? Four with four proficiency. Uh, no, no proficiency. Straight up roll five. You are going to encounter something, Gareth. Uh, D six against me. I rolled a dose. Six. Uh, Asher and Gareth, two D eight for me, please. Let's see what you are going to encounter. Awesome. One, five. Want some hippies? A goblin raiding party for Asher. Five. Uh, and a trapper, uh, for Gareth. What tarnation's going on? I'm hearing people yell all over the place. These are, these are all solos? These are all solos. Was it me? Was it me? Perfect. I need to use the restroom. Okay. Let me go first. Yeah. Gareth, you, uh, no. you be no, Trapper no, John, ready. MD. I'm ready wow. to fucking I say... <laughs> Hey, have you seen some crazy looking Where the fuck are- paladin run through here with a amulet? Uh, uh, D12 against me. All right. Four. Oh, God, where's my D12s? I got a two, so. Bleh. Uh, nope. Did you see the giant skunk come by here? <laughs> No, we saw a giant bear though, and he nearly got us, but oh. we killed it. Well, sorry, I can't help you. Well, if I see a skunk, I'll be sure and run away from it. Fair enough. So he is uh, good for nothing. Well, After I muted you, so go ahead and unmute. Uh, he's not, he didn't hear you or something. Uh, there we go. Go ahead and unmute yourself, Asher. For some reason, this guy is trying to do something. The three dots in the high right. Blake is dying on the ground. That's true. He's throwing up his guts. Asher, if you can hear me, use the three dots in the upper right to unmute yourself. On my screen, there's a mute button at the bottom with a bunch of icons. In Zoom. Oh, he can't hear me. He looks like oh. Mothman to me. You got to mute him. Just kill him. Deafened. Can you unmute him? Yeah, for some reason I can't. Uh, but we can send him a message. Uh-uh-uh. <clears throat> oh, he's not muted now. Well, I, I still show him as muted. Oh, he unplugged it or something. He, he's out. We'll go ahead and end it for the night. It was unusual. Thanks, Asher. Don't break thanks for passing out. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 
He's Billy Crystal. Ah, ah. Uh, John, what'd you think? <laughs> hey, I had a fun. I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> I liked uh, being a fighter for change. Normally a little more complicated guy, but this isn't bad. It was different. I will, I will give you that. Plus, uh, you know, you, you get to see everything. We there, killed the white. Uh, you killed the white. You killed uh, Papa. I mean, you guys did a pretty nice job. Uh, Carrie, what do you think? Uh, I would like more opportunity to play an Oathbreaker. It was good. There you go. And fucking guys. <laughs> And and you got to steal the treasure, so exactly. Right. True to your word, oh, I will be right here. Except I'm not going to be right here, uh, boys and girls. That has been the one shot from hell. Uh, Asher, you did a great job. If you can hear me, yeah. Uh, yeah. So don't worry about being the new guy. Uh, Gareth and Malum, you guys did great. Blake, I hope you do not choke on your own vomit. <laughs> That would be bad. That would be bad. <laughs> oh, well, there, there's the George Costanza picture right there. That was, <laughs> I'm on him, did it. He's it, playing naked guy that's next. That's right. At least he has <laughs> pants on. Uh, boys and girls, that is it for this episode. Uh, next Thursday, we've got uh, Pillars of Jocularity. Uh, and we'll figure out what we're going to do next Saturday. So everybody smile and wave. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Bye, everybody. Bye. Adventures in Filbar. For all your role-playing needs, try the free stuff first. Hello and welcome to our stream. Don't forget to follow us on the socials at mhobo inc or you can email us mhoboinc at gmail.com. If you are interested in playing on the stream get a hold of us. You can also purchase interesting RPG items at our store and the link is below. We have everything from shirts to skateboards in our shop. Go, take a look. And if you need new math rocks. Catch a pirate dog dice on Twitter for some personalized items. If your game stinks, unlike ours, try some adventure scents by ofishgames.com. They have over 60 different scents and most are pleasant. This aid is perfect for in-person games, especially conventions. Of fish games also makes how to RPG with your cat, how to cook with your dice. The Shine System if you want to be a gooder writer than me. Or try the Radiance Project if you just want to play with yourself. Allfishgames.com is your stop.